And welcome back everybody. So we've got it situated all figured out. It's uh not exactly sure why it crashed. I didn't read the error, I really should have. And Alex has showed up with this noisy beauty. I'm actually warm. I mean cold. I'm stuck. Um okay. Uh pick me up with the bird. Okay. Not your bird, stupid. Trying not to drop you in the pin. Did I drop you anywhere? Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. I stop being dumb. <clears throat> Here, kitty, kitty. Why don't we have a platform that goes up there? Because I can jump it. Too bad the spyglass doesn't let me see all the specs of things. No, you need a magnifying glass for that. Like you mentioned that. Here's my wife. She's coming to pinch my nipples. No, she's coming to rape you with her giant dick. What? Ah! I'm gonna hold off on the magnifying glass, Ingram. Hold on. Oh, you're using a crossbow. Yeah. Fancy. If I, had used, if I used a normal bow, it would have killed it. Really? Yeah. I would have thought the crossbow did uh, more damage. No. Why is it there cold here? Hmm. Ah, I thought he was about to pass out there. He was just clipping through the rock. Uh, he's getting awful slow there. Is it a tactic to... I'm dehydrating well. Is it a tactic to, um... No, shoot them with trank arrows, feed them, and let them recover some, and then continue no. shooting? No, that's not a good tactic. No, the real tactic is you uh, fire very rapidly until it starts to run, and then you space your shots out to 10 seconds between each shot. Ah. I'm going to go fill up my water bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was nearly dead. I figured he was. Yeah. I guess that's why you spread him out afterwards. Exactly, yeah. It gives it more time. You see, 
here's how the trank arrows and the um I think you popped your narco mic there. darts work. Yep. See, when you initially shoot the animal with it, it gives a certain amount of torpor to the animal. Yeah. And after that initial torpor it is there, it also gives a certain amount of torpor over the next 10 seconds. Well, when you're using a primitive weapon like a slingshot or a club, it doesn't do a number of torpor at over 10 seconds. It just does the initial torpor. Well, the crossbow and the bow and the uh, long neck rifle, they do over time. So, the bow does so much more damage than the crossbow that you're probably more likely to kill the animal uh, than if you used a bow or a long neck rifle. Now, a long neck rifle may do more damage with each shot, but it also delivers a much higher amount of torpor when you shoot it. Okay. Yeah. Is that a Roadrunner? Or is this a Mini Raptor? This might be a... No, I don't even know what this is. There's a Gallimimus. There's a... I mean, how big is it? A little tiny uh, Roadrunner looking bird. Uh, you're probably either looking at a Micro Raptor or a... Uh... Well, it ran away from me when I hit no, it. If, it if, if it ran away from you, it's probably a uh, Archaeopteryx. Probably. I ate it, though. Whatever it was. That's not where I told it to land, but okay. Oh, look at this geeky head sticking out of the wall. Charlie. Yeah? Stop treating these animals like they're pets. I said sticking out the wall. I'm not even in there. Kinda don't want to be. I guess you're going to get prime meat for him, aren't you? You learn. And it's gotta be prime meat. Or can can you tame him off normal meat, or does it have to be prime meat for him? You can tame them off normal meat, but it's but much prime more is better. To use prime. Yeah, I remember that much. So I'm looking for a large snake. That's right, because parasaurs don't drop prime. Yeah, parasaurs do not. Stegosaurs drop prime. Uh, nowhere there used to be one. Or, I could just pick up this sheep. I'm fighting a kangaroo. What? I'm fighting a kangaroo. Why are you fighting a kangaroo? Because it's here. Gosh darn, it thinks fast. Yeah, it's very jumpy, Charlie. It just I jumped into why. the valley. Stuck here now. No, he's not. Yeah, he could probably jump out. Oh yeah, they can jump stupidly far. And he jumped out. I'm probably not going to catch him. Hey, how's it going? Give me your jumpy goodness. Give me that jumpy goodness. 
Let me eat your soul. You know, it's phrases like that make us not exactly popular. Yes, because no other YouTuber says stupid shit like that. supposed to correct that uh, I'm saying every, like a lot of the big youtubers say shit like that anyway and it didn't matter uh, I think he dropped prime meat no he did not he just dropped raw meat okay we've tamed it oh, that wasn't bad of course a thylo would have been better yeah but I mean uh, Saber's still pretty good Nowhere near as good as a Thylo. True. Because the Thylo, they can climb up the walls, can't they? Yeah, but they also have a bite comparable to that of a T-Rex. Oh. I like where you put your bird. And I fell off the mountain getting off of mine because of that, though. Oh, I didn't put my bird up there for any other reason. I just put it up there because I was chasing after the uh, mutton. Here, let me go over here where it's easy. Oh, here he is. No saddle for him yet. Is that right? No saddle for him yet, right. What are you doing? Trying to get up there. Then just was, yeah. All right, so it's night time. So you know what that means? What? I could actually see the um, loot drops. Better. It's not that I can't see them in the day. It's just I don't see them well. There are like no loot drops. Two whites that are nearby, and then some that are way off, way, way off. Mm. I go through spots where it'll be like kind of light, and then it'll just get dark all of a sudden. Yep. What, what causes that? Uh, like heat or something? Change in graphical settings? No. It's not that. Because I don't have that bound to anything. I don't have the game about no, anything. No, I mean... That's literally the game automatically changing its graphic settings based on the area that you're in. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see what each you're saying one now. Of these, each one of these biomes... It doesn't just change, um, you know, how bright the light is. It changes the whole color palette, basically. It's very resource intensive. It's a good thing we don't live at on a edge of two different biomes, then. Oh, no, no, no. That, that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's when you get, like, three or four of them in view at once. That's when the game starts to say, okay, look, you, you're pushing me a little far here. See, it doesn't change until I cross over, though, I think, is what's happening. It, it, it's really just adjusting my gamma. Nothing else is changing. Mm. Oh, I see a little frog you have here. And now you don't have a little frog here. Uh, okay, that's the griffin's nest. Which means I'm just going to keep moving. I'm pretty sure we weren't very far from the griffin's nest. Of course we weren't. I find it funny how we both crashed as well. Me 
Maybe this blue drop will have something. Um, I'm not sure I even want to try that blue drop. Uh, mm, no. I'm not even going to try it. There's three griffins right there on it. And it's right up next to griffin's nest on top of that. Oh shit. What? I accidentally garnered the attention of a rock golem. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a good thing. Yeah, and to make matters worse, I'm not on a bird. Oh, that is, uh, is pretty bad. Where was it? Uh, on the other side of the mountain from our saber tooth. Thankfully, the saber tooth moves fast enough that it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Luckily. There's the metal box. Someone just joined Scorched Earth. I really hate that it tells us the messages for every time someone joins a different server. Or a different well, map. Well, it can let you know if your enemies are coming online. I guess it makes sense if, it, if you play on multiple maps. I still feel like Crystal Isles is pretty barren for like in people. Well, it's probably barren because it has very little integration with other maps. As in uh the boss on this map doesn't really have any bearing in comparison of difficulty and or um usefulness as compared to other uh, bosses. purple one not sure how good a purple loot drop is do these cave drops ever move yeah okay they just take a hell of a lot longer than your standard drops usually they're full of nothing useful though I found the Ravenger saddle. Yeah, see, like I said, not well, really I wasn't useful. I wasn't sure if that would be useful for us here or not. Yeah, well, yeah. Ravagers really aren't that useful, no. Okay. I mean, outside of Aberration, where they have their ability to... Um, That's the thing that spawns up top, isn't it? 
No. No, that's what the Reaper. Yeah, those are Reapers. No, Ravagers are basically. Imagine wolves and bats had an unholy baby, and in the wild it's super badass and it makes everything bleed that it bites, and then it loses all of its badassery when it gets tamed, and is really only good for hauling metal up, um, up zip lines. Okay, um, so I found a Rex, by the way. Mm-hmm, right, and why? I just spot at one is all. Hmm. Seems to me that um, you should leave it alone. I, I am. I'm not going anywhere near it. I'm just. I was flying over and spotted it. Put my spyglass on it to confirm what it was. I don't know why you have to pick up a spyglass to confirm. Oh, because it doesn't tell me unless to get close to it otherwise, and I don't want to get close to it. So I'm just going to use my. Spy um. No. No. What What I mean is. Why is it that you couldn't tell it was a Rex quite obviously from a distance? Because I don't know everything. Charlie. What? That is not a good excuse in the slightest. I mean, seriously. The Rex is like the second biggest thing walking around on two legs. I mean, the only other animal you could reasonably hope to mistake it for is a Giga. And those things are so few and far between, you'll probably never see one unless you go looking for it. I mean, come on. True. Yeah. So, uh, I just found the gun in this purple drop, by the way. Okay. I did grab it. Not necessarily because it's a gun, but because we might use it for something later, for all I know. Alright, now I'm going to try and find my way home. Yeah, and I got a pretty good idea as to why. What do you mean? Well, it's because it's 11.35. Ah, uh, well, yeah, it's 11.33 at my house. I mean, we're only, yeah, we're about 22 minutes in. So whenever I get back to the house and empty my inventory, I guess it will be time to call this session done. And then we'll take a break from recording tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Especially since I'm going to have to edit and I have to fix one of my animations I've done and a few other things. I went to add it in because it's one uh, that's going to be ideally on all of my things. And it's broken. Because I'm stupid. Mm. No, because... Can't ever do it right, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well. Hmm. Maybe next time we record, we'll head up north and get a hold of some, uh... Some oil. That's fine. I also have a large container. A storage container that I found. I know it's not a big deal, but that means I got at least more another storage container to put down. Yeah, next time we record, we'll try and seal off the face of the cave. Maybe get some oil, maybe make a generator. Start, you know, actually making this place a usable house. Yeah, it is starting to feel a little cramped, though, once we start putting dinos in it. Well, the thing is, that's not going to be a problem once we get energy. Yeah, that's right. And, of course, cryopods will be easy. Yeah, we just go to the obelisk while no one's watching, make some cryopods en masse, bring them back here, and shove them in the cryo fridge. I'd flew right over it like an idiot. Well, there's another reason why I said they're, they won't be that big a deal. Alright, I am back home. Let me just place down my stupid stuff. 
So six is... Thank you for lighting that. Another storage container. Um, hi there. We just uh, gonna put in this blueprint for a big metal hatch frame. Put this gun in there. Uh, drop that in there too, I guess. And I've also got this here. Seven. 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 There it is. Just because I found it. Please don't kill me. We're about to do a Jeffrey Epstein. Let's not. Can, can we not? Yes. No, no. That's You're not. about to commit suicide in your cell. Uh, if I lay down on the bed face down, does that count? Maybe. <laughs> lay down and see. Alright, uh, well, let's see if I fall forward. Did I fall forward? No. Oh, which way did you're I fall? You're standing up like an idiot. Oh, well, give it a second then. And now you're asleep. But you fell backwards. Oh, just flip me yeah. over then. No. I guess my head is cooking too. Well, hey there, kibbles, being all noisy and shit. Until then, I hope everyone has enjoyed this, and we will see you in the next video.